This video is further proof that on every level except physical, I am a leaf. Sing it with me, folks. It's the most wonderful time of the year. You're welcome. Hello and welcome to the last festive halloween -y video of this year. Incredibly sad that it's gone by so freaking fast, but I'm also so ready for it to be over. About four projects going on simultaneously at this exact moment. Don't really want to think about it. Otherwise, I will spiral into a gelatinous ball of stress. November 1st. I crawl out of my cave looking and acting like Robin Williams in Jumanji. What year is it? And so we're just going to put all of that out of my mind for now. Today we are going to get started on hopefully a fun project. I'm hoping only takes me a day because uh, that's, well folks, that's, that's pretty much all I got. There ain't nothing like sleeves that are too long for your hands. I feel like a sophomore emo kid at the mall on a Friday night. For this last project, I really wanted to do something just embodying fall. It is so dang pretty today. Nick and I went on a little drive this morning to try to capture some of that essence. Here is some delicious foggy autumn content. Okay, now that you've enjoyed that cinematic goodness, let's talk about design. All right, friends, so for this, I'm thinking having a bodice that looks like a tree trunk and then a little leather belt with a skirt that looks like fallen leaves. Basically, I just wanna look like a little autumn forest fairy. And so I want also big flouncy leaf sleeves. Now my friends, I am going to cheat a tiny bit on this project. I don't know that I could truly call it a one day make. It is hopefully going to take me one day, but some of this has been pre-made. One of my abandoned projects. <laughs> Shing. Sparkle, sparkle. This was going to be the sort of chest plate armor for the mighty Thor back during summer. And you know what I did? I yeeted it into the deep dark depths of my abandoned project cavern. Yeet. And so it's just been sitting up in my barn attic. I'm reaching down into the depths and bringing it back into a relevant project. Unfortunately, I did not film the making of this. I can sort of break it down for you. Kamui Cosplay sells foam patterns for armor, for a bunch of stuff. It's basically just a bunch of shapes that you then print out and cut out, and then you lay it on EVA foam. Cut out all the shapes. I have them labeled because of my chaotic tendencies. For example, the bubby is three different shapes. When you take these foam pieces, they're flexible, obviously. I take contact cement, put it on both sides, and then you can put them together. And it makes a fun little shape. Sometimes you can heat form it, sometimes you don't have to. That is this. This will be my sort of wooden bodice a la Pinocchio. <laughs> I kind of feel like I have done a lot of wood type builds and fabric and such, but whatever. I'm nothing if not consistent. I am probably going to lop off the top half and around back. And then we're going to take my handy dandy Dremel, score into it wood-like grain crevices and make it look really, really organic and natural. Like I just peeled off some bark from a tree and decided to don it. New York Fashion Week, except you are a bog witch. Once we do that, we can prime it, paint it, add a zipper. I'm gonna get started on that because once I prime it, it's gonna need some time to dry and then we can move on to the skirt. Let's do it. From making the 
wood grain, there is not much method to my madness. I'm kind of just making these repeating lines, making sure that none of them are perfectly straight. Because if you look at tree bark, nothing is perfect. Everything is very rough and bumpy. Perfectly vertical lines are hard to come by in nature, so I just kind of wung it. To add some extra interest and to try to break up all of these lines, I did go in and add some knots of the wood here and there. None of this has to be perfect, which is my absolute favorite cop-out. Thank you, nature. Once that was done, it was time for... Plasty dip time! Now that that is drying and setting, let's move on to the skirt and the sleeves. To do this, I want the skirt to be different shades of orange and just look like really crispy, cute little leaves. I have this fabric, a lot of it. I don't remember what I was gonna use this for, but it's nice linen. I will probably cut out a few wow, of this fabric and then maybe a couple more fabrics just to sort of layer the different color leaves, the different patterns of leaves and make it look really I don't want to say shabby chic <laughs> because that's not the vibe. Folk, kind of hobbity. I don't know. Anyways, I am going to lay out just a giant square of this. Probably fold it quite a few times so that when I cut out one shape, I'm actually cutting out a bunch. And then we can go from there. If we plop this down. Plop. We should probably decide how long we want these leaves to be. Yeah. <laughs> Fold it over, even more times, and yeah. Yes, I know, it's very wrinkly. Leaves can be wrinkly. I'll decide if I want to iron it out later, but we'll see how this looks first. It's like yoga. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> I guess we should decide how big we want this to be. Lucy, freaking goosey. Probably pull up a picture of a leaf. There she bloweth. Now I am gonna leave the top a little flat so that I can then attach everything to the belt. You know, it would be smart to fold this over even more. So this way, whatever I cut out on this side is mirrored. And it's less work on my part. All right, let's cut it out. So since this kind of ended up looking like a weird jacket, I made some adjustments. Moving on to the next leaf design with this as a reference. Once the skirt panels were all set, I just repeated the process for the sleeves. So here's the general idea for the sleeves. The two pieces of the orange layer, one piece of the pattern and then flipped inside out, we have the brown layer. And I also have all the layers of the skirt thrown into this very aesthetic heap. Now that's all well and good, friends, but I want to see if we can't make this just a little bit more spicy. To do that, I'm gonna take my airbrush and just slap some of these with some shading, some browns and oranges, and see if we can make this really, really three-dimensional and give it a lot more depth. Ooh-wee, there's quite a lot of panels here, but <laughs> let's give it a shot. 
definitely learning as I was going with this. I started off with sort of a light brown and it looked fine, but it wasn't as drastic as I thought it was going to be and it also dried a little bit lighter. So I did go in and add a little bit more dark browns and blacks and I think it really helped. After the sleeves were done, I moved on to the skirt, which took absolutely forever. Okay, progress. So everything is all airbrushed and ready to go. These are the two sleeve leaves. Sleeves. <laughs> and then this is the skirt. But now we are ready to assemble the skirt with the waistband. Staying hydrated. I just took a key break, which very tedious and time consuming when you're wearing a onesie. So basically what I'm going to do is make a waistband out of, I think, fake leather that I have in my stash. Make it wide enough so that I can fold it over and just hide all of the ugly seams from the tops of the leaves. It's just gonna be one long chain of fabric and then it's gonna wrap around itself and clip. For the sleeves, I think I'm going to do the same thing, make a sleeve band out of leather that I will attach to the bodice, just like the waistband, make it wide enough that I can fold it over. I think that should be good. So let's freaking do it. I am also not gonna lie to you, I almost just reached for this and unscrewed it and drank it just like my drink. Mm-mm-mm. It's been a long month, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I was a little too lazy to go find my tape measure. I just cut a ribbon that was a little bit more than my waist length because this armor was gonna be a little bit more bulky. And then I did the same thing for the sleeve bands. I then just arranged the leaves how I wanted to go on the sleeves. Folded the edges over slightly and pinned. And it's pretty easy. Once you bring it to your machine, you just sew right along that line and you're good. Now for painting the breastplate. I started with a very simple base coat of brown. You know, ultimately I think my final form is Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas. Internally I feel like her, but externally, baby steps. After I had the base coat, I went in and added some highlights and dark spots, especially in those grooves and those knots. I also went in and dry brushed some like white on there. I wasn't too crazy about this, so I ended up toning this down a lot. Final steps were to attach the sleeve. So usually I would glue this, but this time I decided to stick some thread in there and it worked a lot better. And I did the same thing with the zipper and we are done. This is how I intend to walk in the room when I'm wearing this. Sleeves first. She is done. I present to you the autumn leaves dress. 
I will be completely honest, it's not often that something I think of in my brain translates over into real life. Either the colors won't work exactly how they do in my brain or even in the design drawing that I have, or just something is just a tiny bit off. That being said, I am so happy with how this came out. <laughs> I was getting a little worried that the leaves would be kind of ugly, especially like the printed one, as I was doing the airbrushing because um, it was looking kind of ugly. <laughs> I think that like all together, it makes it look really folksy and really kind of fairy-like and cute. And then the bodice, I'm so excited about. Number one, it's so flattering, which if you've been watching my channel, you know that I struggle a lot with making things flattering, especially when it comes to like bulky foam. This was off of a pattern, so I do have to thank Kamui Cosplay for that. I kind of feel like a superhero. I am grouped. And then the skirt. Da, 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 da. I probably should have added just a little bit more of these leaves that go on top because there is kind of an empty space near the bum. So <laughs> maybe two more of these smallest leaves. Given more time, I probably should have airbrushed these a tiny bit more or dyed them to make them maybe a little darker. Towards the bottom, give them like a gradient. This, as they are right now, they're kind of just like one solid color block and they're kind of boring and it's just enough to get you. A little peek. Fetch the smelling salts. I don't know, I mainly just wanted to make a dress that was kind of like an ode to autumn because it's my favorite and I'm so sad that it's it's not quite on its way out, but I'm gonna be sad when that day comes. I just wanted to make something that was very festive and crunchy and spicy. <laughs> I also kind of feel like a kite or like Peter Pan or something. Both a vibe. Usually my one day makes are absolute <laughs> Hot steamy garbage juice that drips onto your leg. This one is more leftover food in your sink drain. And that is it for halloween -y videos. I, my friends, am going to take a week off. I might even take two weeks to be honest. I, why, why, why am I holding it like this? I really, really have been struggling to keep up with everything and I feel like I haven't really gotten to take a breath or like relax in about two months. We'll see how I'm feeling after the end of the first week, but it might be a couple weeks until you see me. I'll let you guys know for sure, but your girl needs a break. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload most Fridays and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! It's <laughs> of the year. I didn't realize. Look what the hood looks like. Where is it? There it is.